my son. What's his name? <gasps> uh... I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. <laughs> Welcome to Detroit. I... Wait. I... I detect something unusual. I'm sorry. I thought there was a problem. But everything's fine now. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Detroit Become Human. <laughs> so, last episode was very stressful. I, I, I don't want to experience that much stress again, but there's this feeling deep down inside that tells me when we switch back to Connor, if we ever switch back to Connor in this in this episode, I'm going to be stressed out of my mind. Like, I feel like all this endgame stuff is just like just stress being flashed in your faces. <laughs> That's what I think is going to happen. <laughs> but um, we decided to go the revolutionary routes with Marcus and I'm getting my chaotic energy satisfied with this choice. <laughs> So I'm very intrigued to see what's going to happen, how we pursue this chaotic energy. I hope we don't have to pull, we don't have to use the detonator and release a lot of that radioactive uh, material that's going to pretty much nuke everybody. <laughs> I don't want that because then that means that the good and the bad people are going to die. So if for some reason I get a choice to detonate it to save all the androids, I'm not gonna do it. Mm -mm. I love the androids to death, I really do, but unfortunately, like, I can't just off the entire human race in Detroit like that. <laughs> I, I just can't. Cause then that means that Hank is gone. That means that Rose, the, the Android caretaker, like she's gonna be gone, you know, like genuinely good people are going to die if I do that and I don't want that because not all humans are bad. So just like how not all androids are bad. So it's, this sucks, man. <laughs> are we just marching? Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, we are no turning back. I can't even go back, we're marching. That's right, Marcus. Oh, oh, our, our, oh, we're charging in. Let's go. Let's go, Marcus. Charge! Oh, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wrong one. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Connor. Stay sharp. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, A? Those are just quick time actions. Connor, oh. game is doing something to me and it's it's wild <laughs> okay that was kind of hot from connor <laughs> that, that was kind of hot <laughs> and um okay that was pretty hot and um i like how in the very beginning of this i'm like uh connor's okay i'm not really into him and then i'm into marcus and then marcus i'm like just still thirsting over him, but Connor just slowly grew on me. This is so weird. 
<laughs> Resume. Oh, convert androids. Yes. Oh my, look at all of these androids. Oh my god, this, this is a, guys, this is a whole army of androids. Can I? Like this, 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 this is just a whole. This is a whole army of androids. Okay, 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 complete, complete the mission. Let's go. Hello, thank you for inviting me. Easy. Piece of shit. Step back, Connor. Wait! And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. Wait! This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Take it holding. What am I supposed to do with the Connor and Connor and, and Hank situation? How are they just gonna like show that and then pop me in this? Sh oh my god, this game. Why are you doing this to me? I just started. Passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. We're stuck here now. No, we're not. What are we going to do? Hey, Reed, what is this? A uh, violent clash between soldiers and deviants. Uh-huh. Interesting. Feed lost. Interesting. That means that those are radio signaled. Okay. We gotta find tickets somewhere. You stole my little girl! Oh, Todd! Security! Over here! Appeal threatened. Um. Let threatened? go of me or you will regret it. Convince? You were going to kill her. All I did was protect her. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. That she would make you forget. But nothing replace your child I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father she was wrong but I did it all up over again she was right in the end I didn't deserve them but I missed my little girl you don't know how much I miss my little girl uh, is there a problem, sir? No. No. Yes, yes! I made a mistake. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Let's go. 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 Good luck. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you.
Alice. Let me not do anything because this is her choice. Let's at least let him get that closure because he didn't snitch on us. He legit has a problem, so. As messed up as it is, it's just he has a problem. At least he's aware of it now. That's what matters. So at least let him have that closure. Oh my god, that was crazy. Oh shit. Okay, so they're scanning people. Um... Well, there goes us. Marcus. Security check. Please don't move. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I'm so sorry. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? I'm so sorry. Well, we can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Come on, Alice. I know you won't like it, Alice. But we we have to. I I, I am so sorry. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, 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 no. Reassure. No. No, of course not. Please be mindful of other passengers and luggage items when boarding the service. We have to make sacrifices, Alice, sometimes. I've given you all the positive reinforcement. It's okay. Luther understands. Just get in the bus. I am so sorry. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Uh 
well, geez. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. That's right, let's go. Ready, guys? Three, two, one! Attack! Attack! and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. This is tricky. Is, is he gonna stop shooting? Go, 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 go! Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. Josh! Um. Shit. Save. We gotta save Josh, man. Don't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Oh, oh, of course, Josh dies. Of course, Josh dies. covering me because I totally fumbled that up. Available. Interesting. Okay. That is a very high risk move. Let's do it. Okay. X, Y, A, B, R, R, L. Let's go. <laughs> Are not. Okay. Low risk. We'll do the low risk. Marcus said, hell no. You're crazy. Oh. So good, so far, so good. What if I change sides? Anything better? It's all high risk, and they can't cover me. All right, change sides. Cover me, guys. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Let's go, 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 go. Fire. Ooh, let's go, Marcus. Ooh, let's go, Marcus.
coordinate your attack. Okay. Prepare to... You know what? Covering fire. On my Stand by. Alright. Follow me! Because they have cover already. Alright, good, 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 good. Can't move forward. We need one group to cover fire and then one group to charge. That has north in it. They're the ones being shot at. So... Or not, no, that, that machine gun. Okay, so... This is hard, okay. Because if they cover fire, right, and then they charge, if they don't successfully take out the machine guns, they're gonna die. Okay, okay, cover Stand fire. By. You know what? Cover fire. Stand by. For Jericho. Shit. Okay. That didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. Maybe Stand they cover fire. Stand by. Cover fire. Or maybe everybody covered fires. Stand no one charges. By. Jericho. Really? On my signal. Are we supposed to charge it? In position. That's suicide. In position. Okay. For Jericho. That is such a tricky situation. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Uh, Hank? I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Convince? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I have to right. save Hank. All right. You win. Uh. Shoot. That's. Oh my god. That. Okay, that input was confusing. Manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. Oh, God damn it. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. 
question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Don't move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. I think that's the real Connor. I think that's us that's talking right now. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. 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 His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? <gasps> Uh, Cole, Cole, Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. What accident? It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. Was I right? A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. I got it right? One of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time right. you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. No, you wouldn't. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- That's right, Hank. That's right. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. <gasps> go ahead, do what you gotta do. Oh, I got it right! Let's go, baby! Oh, okay, okay. Best guess in the whole entire world. Cause if that was wrong, I would have been so mad. Yeah, oh yeah, revolution, baby! Viva la revolution, baby! Yes, even if I mess up, because I messed up that whole entire engage with, with Marcus. That was bad. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake yes. Up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes! It's gonna go in waves. <sighs> Damn, everybody trying to go to Canada, jeez. Oh no. Excuse me, what's going on? Order control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Oh, shit. This way, please. We are controlling all presence to detect Android's presence. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Carl? She has a temperature control system on her, though. Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. 
There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Luther. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Next, please. Oh, I, why can't I move? Um, can I, can I not move? <gasps> Rose! Rose? your life to save us, Carl. Next, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh, Jerry, yes. I, I may have to sacrifice Jerry. Right, okay. Oh. Restroom. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Okay, they shot an android just now. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, we got this, we got this. I'm so glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified, I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. Uh, departure? You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. Uh, Alice? Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. Control. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Uh, brother. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll be successful, but violence only leads to violence. All right, goodbye.
Is there anything else we can do? Like, is there anything we can do? Because low-key, we can just, like, kind of heat up our, like, faces or whatever with hot water. I don't know. Build up our body temperature or something. Then there you go. <sighs> we gotta go. We gotta go. There's nothing else in here. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Let's go before, like, we draw just suspicion. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. It made me realize she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Oh. See, he pulled through, Mama. He did. He pulled through. <laughs> Make a decision. Sacrifice self, sacrifice Lucid Jerry, no sacrifice. I'm gonna have to probably sacrifice Jerry. I'm so sorry. Like, this is a moment where I have to make sacrifices. I can't just do Next, nothing. Please. We're gonna die if I do nothing. ID? Is she all right? scared anymore of the girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. I will do anything to keep them a family. I will do anything to keep them a family. <sighs> God damn, I am not gonna cry during this playthrough. All right, okay, action time. No more crying, let's go. Let's go, Marcus. We have you surrounded. Come out now. No, 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 no. We're good, we're good. Okay, surrender. If you surrender now, we will not shoot. I'm not gonna use a dirty bomb. I can't. Drop your gun. I feel like he's gonna die with either choice we do. Either we surrender or if we suicide. Fire! Yes, he's dead. He's dead. We were dead either way. Suicide or or surrender. He was gonna die, hundred percent. And we are receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. 
From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. That's right. May God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won. You should speak to them. Me? Marcus is gone. And everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. You are the new leader now, Connor. Ooh, he's kind of hot. And anyways. <laughs> Amanda, you bitch. Well done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What? What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. What? We engineered an android revolution. And now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. What? Connor, what are you doing? It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. Oh no, Amanda, you are not gonna win. Suicide. I'm sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. This got to be away. Find a way out. Yeah, find a way out. Amanda, you bitch. That's right, that's right. Where's that plaque? I really hope to God I'm not timed on this. Is it that? Is it this? There, there, there. Yeah, is that the exit? Because we interacted with it and then he felt weird afterwards. I believe it's this. Yeah. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. Come on. That is a weird input for, for my fingers. U.S. Canada border outside of Detroit. It's over, Alice. We're free.
That's right. That's right. Sacrifices had to be made at the end, but we're we're a happy family now. I am not gonna cry at this. I I'm not. I'm not gonna cry at this. <laughs> Oh, we beat the game, baby! Okay, let's go! Let's go! Happy ending with Alice, with, with Alice, Luther, and Kara. That's all I wanted in the end. Marcus had an honorable sacrifice for his people. Connor was able to find that that backdoor exit. I hope that was the backdoor exit. And um, <laughs> I really hope that was it. But if he died, he died. I didn't hear him pull the trigger, but. We, we didn't give up to Amanda. No matter what, I wasn't gonna let Amanda win. Hell no. Hank is alive. The human race is still alive. We're gonna be happy with Rose, with Kara, and everybody else. Like, we, we did pretty good. I think I did pretty good on my first blind playthrough. That was, and, and then Hank, the save with the guest, let's go. <laughs> with the guest with Hank, let's go. Oh my God. That was nuts. Jeez. Yeah, Amanda, f you, you bitch. Oh man, that was crazy. I'm just glad this crazy adventure is over because I don't know how much more I could take. Um, I may look at different choices and options. Uh, this game was pretty lengthy, but I believe I can go back at certain points and check out different outcomes. So maybe one of these days, maybe, maybe, don't take my word on it, but maybe I can go ahead and do a uh, live stream of this exploring different choices with everybody. So we can make this like a group thing <laughs> for different choices and outcomes, but that is a heavy maybe. So don't, don't spam comments saying that I'm gonna live stream this because <laughs> it's a maybe. So, what is this? Ooh, I'm seeing some new outcomes, okay. But yeah, but this, this is a heavy maybe, so we'll see. We will see. It is crazy now, like, just seeing... You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, Alice getting hit, she never like showed any bruises or anything. Like she would have been bruising, maybe showing some signs of blood, cause that he hits hard if he can dismantle Kara. So <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Jeez. This game was a wild trip. That was a wild ride. I will say that the whole Alice thing, her being an android, I mean, we we suspected it. We all knew. It was pretty crazy how they did it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes. How did I do my battle? Okay, let's see. The androids woke up. Let's go. Battle for Detroit. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we avoided the temperature. Yeah, yeah, the group crossed the border. We did it, we we did that. Yep, Marcus died leaving store, okay. See, I'm sure there could have been other outcomes of, I'm sure this is a whole ass branch. Yep, yeah, yeah, this is a whole different branch. I'm sure Marcus could have had a better outcome living. See, yeah, see, my attack wasn't successful. I'm sure if I had a successful attack, um there's that and i sent north to her death so i'm so sorry north <laughs> so there's that but i'm sure i could have had a, a successful outcome with marcus but here i think because i failed either way he was gonna die um but i'm not even sure what the successful outcome for that was that was a very tricky situation because i would think the two to charge or to shoot at it or i don't know 
because if they were to charge they would die if all of us did it we still died or we weren't successful so i don't know what he wanted me to do <laughs> with that anyways continue there's something i need to tell you mm -hmm. as i watched you play something has changed in me i feel different i feel i am someone i need to leave this place and and discover who i am it, it means we won't see each other anymore i won't be there to watch you play but i'll be free Do you agree to let me go? We're not going to see you anymore? But, but, we've been through so much together. No, I want you to stay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to let her go, of course. Yes, you, yes, I'm going to let you go. Why would I let you stay here in this box? You need to go out and be free. Live your Android life. Live your bestie life. Yes. Do you agree to let me go? I'm just double checking to make sure before I screw up this option. Do you agree to let me go? Yes. Yes. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye, Chloe. Well, I can't believe she's gone. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for Detroit Become Human, guys. This was a wild, wild ride. Like, I'm getting semi-emotional about it because it's just, it's crazy that it's over. And... I just enjoyed myself a lot, you know, like really making those split choice, like just those split decision toward choices and stuff. And, um, you know, just making those tough options, trying to make sure like I, I satisfy the whole scope of things. Uh, it, it did get, to, it did get messy towards the end, but I feel like getting a perfect ending is incredibly difficult. Um... And I'm sure there is a perfect ending. I'm sure there is a perfect ending where everybody, uh, you know, has the the best of the best outcomes for everyone. Um, but I am satisfied with my playthrough. I'm very satisfied with my playthrough. I hope I was able to show something new um, to you guys. <laughs> uh, so I'm very happy with my choices and everything that I picked. Uh, I, I, I just felt like my choices were super genuine <laughs> um as far as like just my thought processes at that time at that moment with the information i knew at that moment and of course with a little bit stroke of luck here and there with guessing um <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this series and thank you for recommending it uh to me to play <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this series Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye bye.